Hello, Nate here at Viking Masic. Today I'm going to show you how to operate the splice deck. The splice deck allows for quick and easy film roll changes, saving time and money, and is standard throughout our lineup of vertical form fill seal machines. Here with me today is our cameraman and marketing specialist, Jake, and one of our top selling machines, the Velocity. The Velocity is a powerful little machine capable of making packages at some incredible production speeds. But just don't take my word for it. Check out some videos of this machine in action at vikingmasic.com. First, however, before we get into slicing the film with sharp knives, take a moment to hit pause and read our safety notice. Don't hurt yourself or somebody else. The work you do on the machine is at your own risk if you need help with the machine and want to schedule a service visit by one of our friendly service team members, visit vikingmasic.com for more information. Now, let's get to it. The splice deck enables quick film roll changes by allowing the user to tape the beginning of a new film roll to the end of the film currently in use. The new film then follows the path of the old film through the machine. By using this process, the new film does not need to be rethreaded through the carriage rollers, saving time. Follow these directions to use the splice deck. Step 1. Clamp the film to the splice deck by lowering the film clamps on the deck. Step 2. Using a utility knife, cut the film by placing the knife blade in the knife channel then sliding the blade down the channel while cutting through the film. Ensure to make a clean cut. Step 3. Release the bottom film clamp. Remove the old film and old film roll. Step 4. Install the new film roll. Using the guide stickers on the machine or the web path sticker, feed the new film through the appropriate path in the carriage up to the splice deck. Clamp the new film down using the bottom film clamp. Step 5. Take care to make the end of the new film match up as close as possible to the end of the old film. Loose ends have a possibility of hanging up in the machine while feeding the splice through. Trim the film as needed in order to make a clean splice. Step 6. Pull the splice tape across the splice deck from the tape roll on the tape holder. Tape the old film end to the new film beginning. Step 7. Release both film clamps. Step 8. Run the machine slowly to feed the splice through the machine. Watch to ensure that the splice does not get stuck while feeding the film through the machine. Expert tip. Using the manual film feed on the HMI test menu is a good way to pull the film through the machine. Well, that's how you use the splice deck on a Velocity. If 
this video was helpful, be sure to hit like and subscribe below. And check out some of our other videos at vikingmasic.com. Till next time, happy packaging.